Hello everyone, welcome back to my NASDAQ channel. This is Johnny. This lab is going to continue our penetration testing setup. In previous lab, we have installed our Kelly and Metabloidable, those two Linux machines in our VMware workstation. Um, topology is similar. We added uh, gateway 192.168.2.1. That is how I get into the internet. Also, the IP, Kali Linux IP, is changed to 192.168.2.20. We are gonna update our Kali Linux machine. We gonna enable root access. We gonna get our SSSH access to Kali. Also, disable screen lock. Those basic things. Let's start it. By default, your Kali machine and the Metasploitable both are put into an AT network. What I would like to do is I would like to change it to bridge network, which is same as network as I the other computers network. Let's power on the virtual machine. Both. Power down. Kelly is on, so we can log in using Kelly. Kelly default username password to log in. Now we enable the DHCP. Our IP address should be dynamic to get it from DHCP server. Right now it's 108. We're going to change it. So there's a couple ways to change it. Temporary change, permanent change. Um, let me show you this. If you want to change it quickly for just testing, you can just easily type ifconfig and uh, your Ethernet zero network card to 20 slash 24 and it's not allowed it so we cannot get into two mode because we didn't log in as a root account just using your Kali account to log in is at zero one eight one six eight dot two dot twenty which is we would like to do and now we are on twenty this is just temporary after you reboot the machine the uh, Kali machine will still get uh, dynamic IP from your DHCP server to change it, it permanently we're gonna edit the file for that So we change that interfaces file. At this moment, we only have loopback network card here. We're gonna add a new network card. We do is not zero. We do static. And let me do gateway. And we also need to change our DNS settings. We put our DNS server record into resolve to count file okay once this time once we report the machine we wash 
able to keep this static IP 192.168.2.20 Just be putting a machine and we taking these settings into effect okay we need to put the machine let's log in now We got a one nine two one six eight to the twenty and uh, let's check our default route one nine two one six eight dot two dot zero one also taking into effect right now. Name server we are using eight dot eight dot eight dot eight which we can resolve DNS name. Perfect. So the first step done. Let's do our second step. We're going to enable our root access. Right now we're logged in as Kali, but we want to log in as a root. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have root password, so we have to change the password and also enable SSH access from the root. Let's do the change first. I'm going to Using the same password which we are using before, and then the next step we need to confirm in SSHD service has been started, and then make sure root can access to it. So we can tell. There's a no twenty two this service running. What we can do is um we cannot change the SSHD configuration. To permit load access from here permit load we, let's get into the load mode Change it to yes. And then we need to start our SSG, SSG service. And check the service again. Let the state. Grab port 22, and you should be able to see both comparing to the before. There's no this port being opening, and then right now they're listening. After this step is done, let's uh, log out. And we try to log in using our root account. 
first thing we do it from console and next step we're gonna try it from our ssh client we're gonna ssh to our 192.168.2.20 restart session perfect one more command to make the service ssh start on boot SSH service will start it when you boot the machine. Next step, we're gonna try to disable screen lock. By default, Kelly gonna lock your screen out very in 10 minutes, but we can make that changes to disable that to make our life much easier when we're doing the configurations power management lock screen when system is going to sleep we disable that when screen save is activated deactivated we don't never In this way, your Kali screen will never lo locked out. It's gonna be much easier for, for you to do your Kali lab. One last thing you may want to do for your Kali system, which is updating it. So the command, since we are in a uh, load mode, so we can directly type the command. Just one command and then you can leave it running it may take um, 10 to 15 minutes to get it done depending on your internet speed and your computer speed that's pretty much everything for today's video hope you enjoyed it if you did please subscribe my channel give me a thumb up thank you and have a great day Thank you.